Sunday and I'm making mineral broth from home. If you follow my Instagram, you might know what I'm referring to. Every time I'm on my period, I always like to have mineral broth to either drink or use in my recipes. Today I'm heading to the grocery store just to pick up the ingredients for my mineral broth for my mineral broth and we're just gonna make mineral broth together and hope that it turns out because I really want to record it and upload this to my Instagram. Minerals are super essential to make sure you're consuming during your period because you lose like a lot of those when you bleed. A lot of people can't access the mineral broth that I typically buy from Owl Venice, which I love, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to create like an option for anyone who can't access mineral broth either because it's too expensive or they're not able to like purchase it from anywhere. So that's the goal today. Back from the grocery store, let's do a little haul of what I'm going to include in my mineral broth. A few days ago, I went to my Japanese supermarket and I got dried shiitake mushrooms. These are really, really great for your menstrual phase, shiitake especially. I think it's also gonna add such a good flavor to the broth. I also have some kombu. This is kombu, it's seaweed basically, dried seaweed. And this is like, this is packed with minerals. So this is like key to making mineral broth. And I got that at a Japanese supermarket like a while ago too. I also have lemongrass, a bunch of celery, garlic, and I might not be using the entire thing of all these ingredients. Like I probably won't use the entire thing of garlic. I got a bunch of carrots, big thing of curly kale. Kale is another one of those ingredients that is super high in minerals. Parsley, two white onions. I got a big thing of ginger and turmeric, just a little guy. Here are all of my ingredients for this mineral broth. I'll probably be using like all the carrots, all the onion, whatever. I'll show you what comes next. I'm going to bring this big pot to a boil. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start chopping all of these vegetables so that they can fit into the pot better. Okay, so I have really stuffed this broth to the brim. Basically, there's everything that I mentioned in here. And so I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then once it's boiling and let it simmer for two hours and then I'm going to check on the flavor. But I just added the dried mushrooms on top. It's literally full to the brim and look how big this pot is. Oh well, you can never have enough mineral broth, honestly. Okay, my soup has been on low for like two hours, so I'm gonna taste test it now. Here is what it's looking like. I have no idea how this is about to taste, so. I definitely will be adding salt to this, but it's, it's very pleasant. It's very mild, like, I'm gonna let this keep simmering for a few more hours. Then I'll add some salt and we'll go from there. I am really trying to do this without spilling. Okay, well here's my first batch of mineral broth. Honestly, I was worried about the color for a second, but the color looks great. I did add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Let me try this. This turned out really well, but I'm definitely going to do this again because you can never have too much broth on hand and then record this and put it on Instagram. So this was a total success and I can't wait to share this recipe. <laughs> exciting announcement. I am so close, like 70% done with my first digital product meal plan for cycle syncing. So cycle syncing meal plan. Yay! <laughs> 
I'm basically making all the recipes right now, photographing them, and then making sure that they're all correct in the meal plan. That is what I'm doing right now, is I'm going to make a couple of the recipes for the meal plan, photograph them, and try them as well. It's kind of a lazy Thursday. Besides that, I mean, when I'm cooking not to film my cooking, it's very, very chill. If I have to film my cooking, I get really stressed and like wanting it to be perfect. But since I'm just making these recipes to dial down the measurements and directions and photograph them for the meal plan, I'm just gonna watch some Bridgerton probably or listen to a podcast and I'll show you what I make. Oh my God. Also, these little ugly sliced kiwis are so good. This is my first attempt at blueberry crumble bars. I'm testing out more healthy dessert recipes just because I know a lot of us don't want to blow our healthy day of eating with ice cream and cookies a lot of the time. So this is kind of like my attempt to make a healthier dessert. Here we have it going into the oven now. Now, in the rice cooker here, I have some mineral broth rice being made. Apologize about the noise in the background, but I am air frying a salmon and just chopping up a green onion right now because I have an idea for a rice bowl, like a slightly elevated salmon Emily Mariko rice bowl that I feel like would be really, really good. And I'm basically chopping up this green onion and I'm going to chop up some seaweed snacks and mix it in some of the mineral rice that I just made. So we've got our mineral rice. I'm gonna put half of the green onion like that. Oh, are you joking? Then we have our little package of seaweed. Pop this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix like that and the seaweed will soften a little bit as it gets mixed with the rice which is what I want salmon on top and sprinkled with a little more green onion super simple yet it looks like you put more effort into it than you really did a little bit of sriracha that looks so bomb and also the blueberry oat bars came out so now we can try this the salmon, I did Dijon mustard on the top with some furikake seasoning and a little salt. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Approved. So easy. So good. And tons of nutrients for your menstrual phase. Here are the blueberry oatmeal bars I just made. Focus! Okay. It focused for one second, but let's give this a try. That's pretty good. Mm hmm. Approved. heading off to a graduation party for my friend's two sisters and it's really making me think right now about how I graduated from college five years ago. I can't even believe it's been that long. It feels like it happened last year and it also feels like it's been a century because of how much I've changed. Well, I'm just kind of reflecting on how much has changed since the time I graduated basically and I'm just so so incredibly grateful for the life I live now and the person that I've become today. I was a whole 
different person five years ago. In a relationship, a very toxic relationship, I had very little self-esteem. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and now here I am five years later in a career that I fucking love. I'm finally ready to date after two years of being single. I've just never felt more confident in who I am as a person. I just basically wanted to share that because I think we forget about how much progress we make over time. I'm just so grateful. We have so many blessings in this life haven't done an outro like this in a little while but thank you so much for watching this kind of weird vlog video and i'll see you in the next one